morning, good morning, I mean, good afternoon, folks. Out here at this rainy eastern North Carolina day. Uh, anyway, had a little, a little video of this. I know I had, I think it, some of you might have seen where I got these. Uh, I cut these off the end of some hoses that a friend of mine had. He used to haul fuel oil and gasoline and stuff, and these were the had the big rubber hoses on them, they're four inch. And if you look up in there, I cut them pretty close. So this thing is, is basically cast aluminum all the way. These are stainless steel right here. So I'll cut them off, cut this off, tear this off. And there should be some pretty good weight there. But let me lay these things. I leave one up there for me to clean. But I had uh had eight of them and uh so but he didn't only have those he had these big boys too and uh this is all cast aluminum this is a piece of steel pipe they rusted in there so i'll probably just cut that off and then take a sawzall and cut the inside and this is a cast aluminum faint, uh, frame, I mean uh, flange that sits down. But anyway, if uh, if something don't happen, don't let them come up. I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna uh, tear one of them down too. Cause basically, main thing is just cutting it up with a with a side grinder with a cutting blade in it. But anyway, so anyway, we're gonna see what we can do with this. Uh, let me lay this one out of the way. Then I'm going to try to weigh them up. I had not tried to weigh anything while I was doing this. So anyway, but we're going to see, see what we can do with this thing. Uh, I kind of cut on one earlier. But anyway, let me get some eye protection here. Uh, yeah. Let me get some eye protection going on here. But anyway... All right, the first thing we'll do, this cable, this cable right here is steel, and that's steel right there, so I'm going to cut these off. Let slow down a little. I was getting in a hurry when I'm doing this. But anyway, what we'll do is go ahead and cut these. saw the other video but this here that's stainless steel right there that's wound inside these hoses and I tried to cut these with a sawzall and I did I'd been better off with a grinder but anyway with the side grinder but I was out in the field so anyway 
But this stuff right here, they'll wear sawzall, uh, uh, metal sawzall blade out. Unless you've got a good quality blade. But anyway, all right, let me cut this one. All those sparks that you saw flying, if you could see them, they were coming from this stainless steel that's running through this cake, this uh, rubber. Let's see. And when they plant these in here, they ain't got no, they don't plan on them moving. But anyway, let me see if you can see. Uh, you can't see it here, but at one time, I, I reckon if I cut it like that, well, you can see it right there. If you see right there, see that shine right along here, that's the number of strands that they've got running into that uh, stainless steel cable in there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's ten strands that go through this, so uh, that is tough. That's some tough stuff right there. But anyway, I throw that away. And basically, you end up with this, just to show you if you can see it with a light. If you look up in there, that's all, this is a cap that goes on here that'll unscrew, you know, it'll unscrew, but they've been on here so long, I, I couldn't get one off. I tried to get one off. And everything on here is aluminum. So, because uh, when you're dealing with gas and all, you can't have anything on this stuff that's going to spark around no gas tank with gas fins when they're filling up stuff at your convenience stores like that. But let me see how much this one weighs. Scale over here. Let's see. I don't know if you'll be able to see. See that? Let's see. Hold that back. You might be able to read it. Oh, naturally, it's showing backwards. <laughs> but anyway, uh, I'm going to lay this up here. Let me cut this on. I got it set on pounds and ounces. Let me zero it out. Okay, let me lay this up there. Because that piece alone weighs two pounds, 12 and a half ounces right there. And then these two stainless steel straps, they weigh six and three quarter ounces. But anyway, that's a good little weight just to cut that off. So uh, let me lay these down. All right, let me bring the, let me bring this big just rust it out. This pipe is rusted out, so what I'm going to end up doing, like I said, I'm going to cut this lock band right here off, right here and right here. And I'll probably cut it over there to get this loose, and then I'm going to just cut this off even with this. And I'm not going to show you me, me cutting and chopping out that little bit of steel on this, but you can see how it rusted up right there. So, uh, anyway... Let's take a shot at this and see what we got. Get my warmer stuff out of the way. Alright. My uh, power cord for my lights got in the way. So, uh, anyway. You just don't want to get out of my way today. It's been in my way all day. Okay, there we go. Or if it was in the way on the other one. Anyway.
Okay, we're going to go to this, this, and this. That's all cast there. This, I tried to knock one out earlier. I couldn't get the move. So, like I say, I, I cleaned that table. I don't know if that right there tried to come in. Let's try again. Rusted up a bit here. But anyway, that gives them a. The other ones are solid, they're not rusted like that, so. But I'll probably try to get them out the same way. Okay, that was easy enough on that one. And then, uh, so I'll lay this thing on. Get that out of my way. Alright, let's wait just a sec. Let's do it back over here. Okay. Let's regroup this out. Okay. Okay, there's the handle. And the two pieces I cut off. That right there comes out to seven pounds, 1.75 ounces. So that's some quick work of uh, getting some good cast. All right, now I got one more I didn't bring over here. I'm assuming that this one's gonna be all cast too. I haven't taken this apart. And I don't remember what they said the two I showed you, one went to the hooks to the hoses in the truck, and the other one hooks to uh, the other end goes down in the hole or the gas tank at the store station or whatever. But this right here, I didn't ask the guy what this thing was used for. This thing is heavy. Uh, got a handle and a valve on it. And it's got these screws in it. And like I figured, I'm sorry that this thing's all dirty messy, but it's laying in the ground in the field. Nothing on here is metal that cause a spark. And uh, that's and that's a good thing when they are filling gas tanks, because I know you've been at one at a station, and I don't see nothing in here. It's not cast aluminum. Uh, and I don't know, this bolt's on something. I don't know if it's on the truck or what. But anyway, anybody that done gas work would know, and I, I can't ask him. His help's not real good. But anyhow, I'm going to weigh this thing right here and see how much it weighed. That's 10 pounds, 10 pounds, 14 ounces for this one cutoff valve right here. So, I don't know what cast aluminum is in your area, but uh, I, I had to go back and look on mine, what it is around here a lot. But anyway, it's just, uh, that's a pretty, pretty good little hit of money, or a quick job to do a breakdown. So anyway, uh, just wanted to show you that, and I uh, hope everybody's having a great day, and uh, if you uh, want to like and subscribe and share or make any comments, anybody in the gas industry or whatever, who just drove tanker trucks, uh, if you could tell me what this one is for, uh, I'd like to know, just out of curiosity. But anyway, uh, just a video that I'd been wanting to do since I brought the valves in. Today was a rainy day, so it was a good day to try to do it. But anyway, all right, everybody have a blessed day, and we'll see you on the next one. Bye.